sleeves. She didn't know how to go about really going into selling sleeves. And then I was like, what's your name? And she was like, sleeves. It's like, I pretty much think you're on the right track. You're good. You just gotta keep going. Are you in?
not shitting on your destiny. Also, great t-shirt. Don't shit on your destiny. about your infinite energy and your light and about never dimming your shine or your light for fucking anyone. Fuck yeah. I want this to just be my theme music. <laughs> So never tossing aside your dreams or your goals or your opportunities, both the potential of them and the ones in front of you. Never throwing away any of those incredibly important things aside for anyone. But the gag is, especially not yourself. Your pain, your past pain, your current pain, pain you've planned for yourself in the future. Because sometimes we get comfortable living in our pain caves and just accept and expect that that is where we are now and that's where we're supposed to be. It's not. So understanding that it's okay to be down. It's okay to be sad. Finding out what works for all of us to get out of that place. Because you can't stay there. You cannot live there. Also, the rent is unusually high there. <laughs> studio pain cave. It's crazy. So taking our pain and understanding what exactly we need to do with it. Recognizing that painful things can change us, evolve us, especially when we are not prepared for that shit being okay with our evolution and our change. I felt like that deserved to fuck it. The idea of finding out our new strengths and our new superpowers. Sometimes we're all forced to become New superheroes. New mutants. <laughs> and that's the thing that makes us better than fictional superheroes. <laughs> than fictional mutants. Because we can become new superheroes with new powers all the fucking time. Every time. See, superhero powers don't come. All right, look. I, as much as we all enjoy cosplay, feel like I'm saying this to the right group. I may have seen you do some things. Those superheroes are limited. Limited by writing, by rules, by corporations, by guidelines, by outfits. But you are not. Our strengths, our powers, don't live in a costume. They're inside of us. They are us. You are your own unlimited source 
of motherfucking power. Fear. 
Fear is grown. Fear is cultivated. It's manufactured. It's planned. It's historically documented that it is all of these things. Fear of the unknown. Fear of the unfamiliar. Fear to keep you in line. In your place. To keep systems in place. Fear never transforms into something wonderful. has to be let go of for you to transform into something wonderful. So we are all afraid of being our full selves in our own heads, in public, in relationships. For those of us that cannot hide ourselves, We are always subject to danger. And for those that choose to hide, because danger is fucking real, because of the fear of you. So tonight, I want to tell you a couple of things. Very long about how I was going to do this this year, and I think a lot of things have happened to me over the past year where maybe I have been at like a fuck it level. And this past year, I've been like, no, no, really, fuck it. Uh, this is a whole new shit. And we don't have any fucking time left. So, maybe these things may sound harsh, and I'm sure many people would advise against me saying that. Because I know that there are repercussions, and I know that there is danger. And as someone who cannot hide in many ways, I am fine telling you to fucking stop hiding yourself. Not just here, to live as all of you, always, without fear. And I know, I know what that requires. I know the very, very, very real pushback that it sparks. But I also fucking know that no change for any of us happens without us all being strong enough to be our full selves. You are fucking strong. You are stronger than you know. You are beautiful. And real, honestly, there are no points in history that have signaled evolution, change, and revolution when people stay afraid of being themselves. Yeah. The deal is the motherfuckers who dispatch that fear and those limits that they place upon you that you think are there. They're only afraid of you realizing that you shouldn't fucking be afraid. Yeah. Of realizing that you are powerful and beautiful and limitless. So you owe it to yourself. But you also have to do it so that someone else who can see themselves in you can realize that they can do it. It is about you. But you translates to all of us. 
is about how we affect change to our past, our recognition of who we have been, of the present of who we are right now, and the future of who the fuck we can be. And all those things are the same thing. You're an infinite energy, again, right there in the name. I want you to feel the idea and the truth of not just being able to liberate yourself here on this cruise, on this vacation, when you feel like you can be safe and be you. But to liberate yourself at all points so you can see your own gloriousness, your gorgeousness. and be inspired to inspire others to liberate themselves as well to see yourself and show yourself to the whole universe so we can unlock all the fucking achievements already come on because we're late we are late as fuck inside all the time, every day, before you check your news. <laughs> so, if so many of us are late as fuck all the time, I believe you see what the fuck happens. Choices get made by people who haven't been taught to be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> by people who don't see any fear because they've always been taught that they are great, that they are right, that they are powerful, and they are deserving of all things. But all those things are you. You are great. You are powerful. You are not the others. We are not the misfits. We are not the weirdos. We are brilliant. We are kind. We are loving. We are complex. We are the motherfucking majority. Get the fuck together. But all of that means that you have to step into your power now. You owe it to yourself. Yourself owes it to the points in time of yourself. So the point of me starting this church is not about me. It's not about me telling people what to do, where to be up here, preaching some shit down to you. surface bullshit. I like having fun with surface bullshit because it's fucking fun. And this shit is just all here for right now, so why not? So whatever. Make it look the way it makes you feel happy. But I do know some things. So I want you to know the same things that I know. Which are probably things you already fucking know. And for whatever reason, your personal experiences have led you to push them down and push them away. Or say, I can't do that. I have fear. I have pain. So I've got 
have a lot of growth left there all day. But none of those things ever stop me from being like, I don't care. I have to at least try. I have to at least fucking try. So I get to be so many things. Physically, spiritually, artistically. But I also promise you, I do nothing more every single day than fight. I fight. I fight every day. I'm exhausted. There's a portion of me asleep right now. I fight all the fucking time to be seen in this man. And I do that because uh, the other option is nothing. There's no other option. That's it. This is what it is. Sometimes you need to kind of get to the point where you're like, there's not another option. There's not. I, I sit quietly and, and idly by and I'm not all of it. This is just, this is, this is the only lane. Because I choose to not be in a box. I choose to not be in a category. I'm something new. I'm something that the universe has never seen. I'm not crazy or odd, or strange, or confusing. And neither are you. Your pain makes you special, your heart makes you special, your experience makes you special, your skin makes you special. I want you to know all of the things you can do. I want to see all of them. I want to see all the things you can do. We all do. Because do you not want to know for fucking real how great you are? How great you can be? Someone else to do it. 
Stop waiting for someone else to come along and do it to fight your fight for you. It's you. And you. And you. Just pointing randomly because the lights are on. Collective you. But more so, you individually. Because if we were all really doing that, be in this motherfucking predicament. Oh, yeah. But we would still have water bugs. They're very aggressive. Woo! Or maybe not. Fuck water bugs. Thank you. <laughs> you leave here with anything tonight. <laughs> Also, I want to spring this up. It's a good place to do it. By saying, I don't see this, and I don't see that. Please see that shit. Please see yourself. Please see everyone else. So many of us just get so excited the first time someone can fucking see us. Don't take that away. Our power is our diversity and our vast knowledge from all of our pain and all of our experiences. So embrace that shit. Learn about that shit. It makes you fucking stronger. It makes us stronger as individuals who maybe can't see ourselves when someone comes along and says, I can see you. I can see you. And you are motherfucking beautiful. So, I feel like it's about that time where we can open up. Oh, man. We started doing something in, uh, in New York at the Church of the Infinity where uh, we were... Sharon Stone! The Sharon Stone. <laughs> it was a terrible, terrible pun. <laughs> I, I had forgotten to bring the Sharon Stone. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was just a stone. <laughs> And then someone crudely drew a picture of Sharon Stone on it. <laughs> and we passed the Sharon Stone. <laughs> but, um, church is always interesting because usually people come and they're like, no, I'm just going to kind of hang out in the back and I don't fucking feel like talking. And then, uh, people come and throw up all of <laughs> and it's great. So if anyone feels like sharing, anyone feels like talking, can we do a uh, house lights up a little bit? Can we, can we throw them a little, a little, a little microphone action if anyone wants to share? Hi! Hi! You're beautiful people. Love you. Love you too. Anyone feel like chatting? Anyone feel like sharing? No. Did I? Oh, shit. Well, well come on. Yeah. Hi. Also, please, you time to sip a beverage. Thanks, would you like to sip a beverage? Um, I think we're going to bring house lights down. And uh, we're going to close out for the night. Um, you know what I forgot to do, you guys? I forgot to give you guys a name this year. Um, so I'll welcome the choir out. We have a name for you guys. Woo! We're going to go with the name we use from home. It's the Intersections. Woo! And, um, I would like to welcome uh, 
Uh, I, I would also really like to thank um, Jonathan and everyone on the cruise for introducing me to new amazing musicians uh, who blow my mind every fucking year um, and who have definitely made me uh, cry my eyes out in the back of theaters and it's been